it's going to be potentially very costly. The overall Olympic organizing committee has already spent over $15 billion in putting on these games. Of that $15 billion, another $3 billion has been added on for the delay from last year. So there's a lot at stake here. We know that now tickets are a lost cause. Over a billion dollars in revenues is going to be refunded to over 4 million ticket holders uh, that paid anywhere you know, uh, from $18 to $2,700 a ticket uh, to attend these games. Japan is set to lose an additional $17 billion in foregone tourist revenue. And the risk is going to be with no fans, there may be some people that may not feel that the Olympics are worth it. The fact of the matter is, if ratings are down below a certain average, these networks provide what we call make goods, which is, you know, they're just going to give them more advertising for free to compensate for the loss of ratings. And U.S. media companies in particular have had that experience last year in the pandemic when we started you know, airing professional sports on TV. So they have practice in how do you take a venue that's empty and, 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 and how do you create an environment that's gonna be exciting for the viewer at home. But you know what, at the end of the day, the, the competition is gonna be there, the athletes are gonna be there, but certainly there's a lot of money at risk and uh, you know, a lot of people are trying to protect their revenues.